So we are going into the finals of the ASC Weekly number 5 Gold and Platinum Division. This is going to be, uh, because uh, we don't want to hide anything, uh, even from the VOD viewers, uh, it looks like we had a, uh, a smurf in the tournament. Uh, we gave him the benefit of the doubt, um, and unfortunately out, we got disappointed. We got our asses kicked because we're too nice. Way See, too I nice. need to step in more often. Freaking Sympatico is like all, you're in Canadian, eh? I need to be all nice. And I'm you're, like, the ah, one, you're the ah, one that was know. like, no, he's, he's the, we can't, you have to give him the benefit of the doubt. But I think we did nope, have to give him logic. the benefit of the doubt. We did. We absolutely did. Um, and, and of course, we do have to roll with the punches. Um, shit's gonna happen, and, uh, and it seems, you know, most people are pretty happy with, uh, how we decided to roll with this. Uh, of course, Blizz Opticon was eliminated by the Smurf, uh, in, uh, the semifinals, so we gave him a bye into the finals. Uh, we're sorry for everyone else that had to play the Smurf. We're, we're deeply, deeply sorry, but again, you know, this is an amateur tournament. Shit's gonna happen. There's no prize pool. You know, it is, uh, it's not a I diamond tournament, everyone so... everyone except for the Smurf. Yeah. Uh, anyway, here we go. Giggles spawning as the red Protoss at the bottom left of um, Zelnaga Caverns here. And at the top right, we have Blizz Opticon getting the buy into the finals. We have the uh, blue Zergy pieces. Um, so uh, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, we saw a lot of PvP uh, with Giggles in the last uh, couple of games. We'll see how his strategies change uh, in this matchup against a Zerg. <coughs> Yeah, uh, well, PvZ obviously a very different matchup from P from PvP, since oftentimes your Protoss opponent is not Zerg, and likewise, oftentimes your Zerg opponent is not a Protoss. Therefore, uh, PvZ is quite different from PvP. Uh, that's my insight for this game. Sweet. That's some good insight. I know. Getting I know. Mind equals blown. Ouch. I think I put your volume a little bit too high. It actually blew out. Uh, gas, uh, uh, then pool, almost at the exact same time. So it looks like he's going to be getting... Oh, I don't know if this is going to be Zergling Speed. It usually, that gas comes down a little bit earlier, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't it? Um, uh, what, uh, I, gas, what, pool, gas pool hatch. Gas um, pool hatch. Sure, so yeah, this is going to be... Yeah. for map control, fast hatch. No problem. Cool. So this is going to be Zergling Speed. And over that in the or it's a bad camp. build. Blizz Opticon actually played quite well in the semifinals, so I'm he did. assuming that this speedling hatch. <clears throat> he did put up against a fight. He did put up a fight, definitely in those semifinals. Played quite I've, well. I don't. I've not seen a platinum Zerg play uh, play that well on, on close positions of Metalopolis in a while. Uh, it, it, I, I think Blizz Opticon is probably very close to Diamond. He's not a Smurf. I'm not calling him a Smurf, but I think <laughs> he's very close. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely on the verge. Definitely still a legitimate platinum player, um, as we can tell by his play. Um, but uh, but definitely uh, improving quite a bit. Zergling speed now just being started. A couple of seconds in, Zergling starting to pop out, getting two, uh, probably just to get a little bit of map control. Um, wants to drone up pretty hard. Um, Looks like Giggles is going for a three gate or ten. If he's doing a four gate, he's doing it wrong. But if he's doing a three gate, he's doing it right. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt since that seems to be the theme for the night. <laughs> he's doing a three gate expand. Uh, would this? Would this? Uh, okay, so you're thinking three gate to expand, or maybe would would this work as a three gate robo as well? I don't know. If you need to get that second gas bath to do a three gate robo. Right, because you need. Uh, Need gas, obviously, for that little bit higher tech. Yeah, and uh, also it, to do a three gate robo, you really do need to support those. Uh, you have a lot of zealots because you can't really support very many stalkers, so you do zealot sentry uh, with uh, immortals, and you mix in as many stalkers as you can afford. But typically, you really need those sentries when you're doing uh, three gate robo. It is three gate expand. Uh, looks like looks like this time giving him the benefit of the doubt worked out. I'm so happy. Blizzobscon does does spot the expansion though, and that is not particularly happy for Giggles as he doesn't have a wall to his from his ramp to his nexus or any sentries. So this could be a problem as his uh, his natural is quite wide open. Uh do do uh yeah really Blizzobscon taking the opportunity to drone up quite a bit. Uh, not producing a whole lot. Oh, well, never awesome. mind. Just started 16 Zerglings. <laughs> Getting a Rotorn out, too, uh, to prepare. Looks like he's preparing for some early aggression. I can't say I disagree with that decision, as 
Uh, due to the wide openness of this expansion, early aggression on the natural does tend to be a very uh, common, common, common thing. Common thing that people does because um, because does that be good? So when they're fast expanding, I'm an English ed major. <laughs> um, Bazopticon pushing out with some zerglings here. Um, Let's see what he's going to commit to here. Maybe committing a little bit too much. Doesn't want to lose all. He's going to nah, smartly back up there. Yeah. He just pokes and runs. Pokes po and runs. Poke pokes and runs. Poke and runs. Poke and run. He actually could go around that back path. It's a little bit of a safer retreat uh, retreat path given the way he's attacking. But that's perfectly okay as speedlings are ridiculously fast. They're like zoom zoom. I'm a speedling. Five gates now out for Giggles. With that expansion, his economy is definitely rolling. Uh, 32 to 29 harvesters. Actually, the Protoss has more harvesters than the the uh, Zerg. Uh, actually, no, that might have just changed. Yeah, 30. Okay, now it goes back to 39 over 33. Uh, getting that third and fourth gas up now. Uh, starting to mine quite a bit of gas. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, Hydra Den. Okay, so definitely going to need some gas for that. Um, I don't know about uh, this yeah. overlord placement. Don't, no need to have two overlords over here. Yeah, that's that's <clears> excessive, <throat> certainly. Um, uh, he's not poop and creep either. He should be poop and creep. If you're gonna have an overlord over an expansion, you should poop and creep. Uh, because you know what? What do you have to do? Select your overlord, and and then poop and creep. Like you have to press a button. That's it. So there's really no reason not to. Giggles going for uh, plus one. Now this is actually a reasonable plus one timing. Uh, five gate. At Robo on one base is pretty much what you can afford. Uh, that's that's actually very good on Giggle's behalf. Uh, he, he does know what you can afford on two base, and that is a very common mistake that I see players making, as is that they go either too much or too little on one base. But uh, Giggles does know what's up, and BlizzCon, even though uh, <laughs> Blizz Opticon, son of a bitch, <laughs> um, Blizz Opticon, Blizz opting to take out those rocks for a third. And uh, I think that's the good choice because he did build a lot of early Zerglings to harass. Didn't do very much with them. They weren't very successful. But that's okay because now he's going for a fast third. And that is exactly what you need to do. Uh, that'll, that'll help him come back a little bit from that slight deficit that he put himself in. Hydra's out now. And it looks like he's prepared to take on your typical gateway army. Although the robotics phase is about halfway done. And you can support Colossi on two bases, albeit barely. So we'll just have to see how this plays out. Double evolution chamber going down. I, I always kind of like this. I love double ups. 